Uh, hello, I am Sean Volk. I'm working as the lead game designer for Rayori and also for Cartridge Monsters, which is uh, Dave's not here yet, I believe, but that's the Happenstance Games booth. So if you have any questions about either game, you can go ahead and ask me. I'll probably just talk about my experience as an indie game de uh, developer. I decided to get into indie games when I learned and like got VR. Uh, I was blown away and I decided I want to get in it. And for my first project, Rayori, I decided to go with bringing an existing concept or game into VR because that would be a more easy experience than designing and creating a whole new game that's also VR. And a lot of people also were, like me, wanting to play the game, which is Yu-Gi-Oh, if anybody's familiar. It's pretty one-to-one uh, -one, uh, in terms of gameplay. And... We decided to do early access, free to play, at least for now. And as we built a community before going into early access, we were making sure to have testers and letting them in on the process of trying to like build a game with them. But that obviously increased tenfold. Once we actually went to early access, we got so many more people to help give feedback. Um, and make requests, which we were blown away with by what people were actually work on first. So we had to like move our schedule around and listen to the players and give them what they wanted. And it's been pretty awesome. And as an indie developer, I've kind of noticed some things that helped us more in terms of getting downloads and actually getting people into headsets than others. And that would probably be the, the biggest jump we've ever seen in downloads and consistent um, online players was actually when a YouTuber we didn't know made a video recommending our game. That almost doubled our downloads in two weeks compared to the month and a half, two months that we'd already been out. And that is definitely something I think every indie dev needs to approach is just it seems like the social media stuff is important but the let's plays the youtubers who are like leaving reviews and just demoing our game and showing it to other people that seems to be the best route for actually getting the word around that your game exists um, we've since then released a lot of updates and we're still working on getting the game to out to get out of early access, uh, constantly adding new cards or new mechanics, and it's free to play, and um, I think a lot of fun. It's multiplayer mostly. We've got some decent AI that we're building up into a story mode, but it's mostly a multiplayer game. We've had tournaments, and those go great. People really enjoy playing in the tournament, but from what I've seen, we get more more downloads and more attention when people load up the videos of playing the tournament than people actually like just wanting to be in the tournament. It's, it's definitely um, a big necessary route that I think indie devs need to take. Um, the whole YouTube, Twitch, streamer content that um, people just seem to eat up. I uh, definitely would also recommend, like we saw in the last coronavirus uh, video, we saw that he had third-person um, mixed reality. People love watching videos of people in VR from that perspective instead of from the headset. I highly recommend getting that. We're going to work on that for Rayori as well. And just showcasing your game on those platforms as much as possible. That's kind of what I would recommend. Um, and that's been my experience so far as an indie dev.